When I share such an epic creator finding video, I'm always going to repeat it that Philippines is the world's most biodiverse country in the world for underwater. No other country in the world has as many nudibranch species as Philippines. The second most nudibranch species in the world is in Indonesia and I believe they're around half of what Philippines has. So it's one of my goals here on the channel to share with you guys something educational and expose to you all how beautiful it is underwater. Hear that sound? Is that the generator? Mm. <laughs> you got the worst luck. I don't know what's going on. Just this house, his area has electricity for the last two days, but it's been four days of electricity. We went all the way to Pasaya, which was scheduled brownout. Then we came back the day after, and that was scheduled brownout for Darwin. So that's two days. And then yesterday, it went out twice. Remember, I called you asking if it was out with you as well. But no, oh, it's only my area, <laughs> my Atubic. And now the fourth day, today, we got the generators back on. So it was just his house, so they f they gave him a generator, but then they fixed the entire like power poles, and then my YouTube is like, oh, we can't get fed that way, so we have to shut off the whole the whole area's electricity. Honestly, like it's really hard to edit and do work inside without uh, air conditioning and fan, of course. So uh, we got the generator on, and we're hanging in there. Hey, hey, <laughs> what's going Show on? Show them our brownout. Emergency kit. This is our emergency kit for brownouts. Unplug that. Let's put the other thing back in. The other generator is still on for the other houses, but this is only in my Antubic, where I live. Justin's house is fine. They have electricity, but we don't. When there's no electricity and we can't travel anywhere, we jump in the water. It seems like it's new crater season and we've been seeing these guys all over the place. And here's a new one, we've never seen one before. It's called Eubrancus. An even cooler nudibranch, very similar to the previous one, the same type of species Nudibranch Eubrancus, and now we've got two new species within minutes. I gotta stop real quick there and talk about something about this critter we just saw. One of my favorite things after doing these scuba dives here and finding rare critters is look them up, find the scientific names. I got a couple of books to uh, identify all of them. And I just found out that this critter, this Nudibranch, is labeled as only been found in Indonesia. Right here, exact same one. Only found in Indonesia, but I found it there in front of my house in wow. Kuya Pin Pin Reef. <laughs> so we're gonna mess this definitely, these guys that uh, the author of the books and update them. We also found it here in Philippines. So one more nudibranch added to the country. Awesome. Back to the video. And here we got a box crab. Absolutely hilarious. I don't know what it's about there. Maybe the shape of the body. I have the walk. Freaking hilarious. And another crazy fact about the ocean here. You'll hear us say there's octopus season, frog season, and they were over a couple of weeks ago. But here we got a rare spot fin frogfish. I believe I've seen maybe two or three of them before, so that was an awesome rare find. Fun fact guys, the frogfish has the fastest attack in the animal kingdom. Moving on, we got a sap sucking slug. Costesiella, but we normally call them leaf ships. And then in the sand, I noticed something moving around. Upon taking a closer look, it was a shrimp. 
I look at through my books, this was a oscillated rock shrimp. And the reason I found it, because the description matched perfectly. For example, him trying to camouflage himself with all the gravel and sand. Another funny critter of the night. And the last epic critter of the day is a spiny tiger shrimp. Me and Justin have only found this guy once before in the last 5 or 6 months. Now we see hundreds if not thousands of tiny transparent shrimps all over the ocean floor. But what sets these guys apart is their shape, their color, the badass look of them white and orange with the epic claws in front of them as well being much bigger than a regular shrimp. So finding them you can imagine how much excitement we're going through and adrenaline and then just seeing how epic these guys look. Wow, what a dive. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm telling you, there's definitely a new critter season. The season. topography, all the things that's living. Something, right? You saw it was everything was yeah, different. Yeah, like a whole bunch of mounds and stuff that I never seen. And then, al I don't know what that stuff is. Algae, hard coral, all Leaves. kinds of stuff. So it's totally different, different seasons because the wind is blowing different direction. Maybe yes. that's why. Jake is knocking on the door. <laughs> We're uh, gonna go have a dinner. Maybe do a second dive, night dive. But we got three dives in the morning too, to the Chateau. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go take it easy. We'll maybe continue in the morning. We have a big day with Sea Explorers. We're doing three dives around Chateau coastline. I gotta raise my gear. I gotta take a shower. We just got out of it. Life is awesome. Ah, new season, guys. New critters. Dude, it is critter season. <laughs> This is a brand new dive site we've never been at. It's called Ankhtolog Lighthouse. Let's see what we can find. We didn't see much super interesting on this dive in terms of rare critters. However, seeing this gorgeous nudibranch, black, orangey, kind of looks like a rock, but it's actually a species. It's a type of a Halgerda nudibranch found in the 1990s. Uh, I think this is also my first time filming them. And if you ask me if I'm scared of filming anything underwater, I would probably say no, except one thing. Not sharks, not rays or snakes, but actually this shrimp. It's called peacock shrimp. Very popular for aquarium trade and it's also known to break aquariums. If you keep it as a pet in a thin glass aquarium, there's a chance it might actually break it. And that's the main reason I'm scared of filming this guy, because if you go too close to him, 
he can strike a punch that will smash the glass of my underwater housing. And they're famous for doing that, so I'm always worried about filming these guys or getting too close. And the final nudibranch of the dive I had never seen before. What was special about him is actually laying eggs. All of these boats in front of you, they're from dive operators. There's over 35 dive resorts in Darwin only, and here they store some of their fleet. All right, second dive, we're in Turtle Island Bay. Turtle Island is right over there, even if it's not an island, still Turtle Island. It's been a couple of months since we've been here and over there we named the Dysa New City because we found a lot of nudibranchs. We're checking it out for the first time in what, three, four months? Yeah. So we're expecting a bunch of new species, no visibility and I think some of the guests we see explorers today are gonna join us. So even if there's only like two, three meter visibility, it's a very different type of dive. You wouldn't even call it a muck. Worms! Well, it's, a, it's a muck dive, but on extreme because of the low visibility. Normal dive set like in Dowen, at least we can see, you know, 10, 15, 20 meters. But this one, it's like... This is so <laughs> hardcore. This is a muck dive that regular muck divers go run into their, to their mamas. That's how <laughs> mucky this place is. So let's jump in and see if we can find something new in New City. As you can see, it's about two or three meter visibility and we warned some of the divers that if you guys want to come with us, it might, might be for everybody. I found this sunken boat and you could barely see him, maybe about one or two meter visibility. It was way worse than the previous dive about three months ago, but regardless, we found a couple of nudibranchs. Nothing too special. Not the greatest dive, visibility zero, only found about five nudibranchs compared to last time, maybe a 20. So we'll see if we come back here, it was, but it was just a really fun experiment. I want to test it out again, very unusual dive set. But we're here in Turtle Island, low tide it seems, the sand bar is out. And I can definitely tell like, this area is under rehabilitation. So all these mangroves, they seem to be uh, man planted because they're very box straight line shapes. Very good. Very good. Is that that? Waiting for the other guys that are diving outside of the reef. We're in Turtle Island Bay. Chillaxing. You guys recognize this pier? Yeah. I'm lucky. <laughs> ah, <it's only> <laughs> 
We're out here with Sea Explorers diving for the first time on the boat in front of my place. Hey! <laughs> so my house is over there and we're gonna dock at one of these buoys. Conditions look good, high tide, should be a mild current and then afternoon the current should pick up so it's a perfect timing. Gorgeous today. Rainy season by the way, rainy season. Wow, it's clear. Now what I'm about to show you here is the very best dive we've ever done here in Darwin Coast. Luckily, it's been right in front of my house. There's been so many species we've been skipping and not filming, but here's a glimpse of what we found during these two or three dives. And there are so many of them that I won't be able to identify all of them. It's just been taking so long time to search in the books, even though I love doing that. But for these dives, there was just way too many of them to go through all of them. Like this shrimp, never seen it before. And that's gonna be the theme of this dive, seeing something for the first time. That's what I always say about diving. It's so interesting every time you go out there, seeing something new. Alex, Debbie. Yeah. Alex, you okay? Yeah, hey. Why did you break so much skater rate? Yeah, I was dropping there this a uh, free. <laughs> ah, buy one, get one free. Yeah, one small free. Hey, look what I got. Ah! <laughs> ah! Have you had this before? To my cat, the delicacy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this, so good. Try yeah. it. Have some. Wow, yeah, it's good. Mmm, so good. Right, Jack? So good. <laughs> <laughs> Same day and we're continuing our dives at night. Here we are doing two night dives in a row. We're in the water between about 7 p.m. until around 10, 11. And once again, countless of new species we've never seen. But what stood out for me is the amount of frog fishes we found. We were already told frog fish season was over. So what does this actually mean? Why are the frogs still now? Perhaps everything was later this year. Well, most of them were painted frogfish and then one spot fin. Super awesome find.
are so many critters on this dive that you can see here in this shot, the frogfish actually bumps into another nudibranch. And there were just countless and countless of new species I'd never seen. Like this shrimp, looks like something out of an alien movie. Here's a sea hare, never seen that one before. Another nudibranch, I have no idea what it is. Never seen that one before, or these two, maybe they're only here during critter season. New flatworm, common nudi, another two common nudis, and then of course the flamboyant cuttlefish, one of our favorite critters in the ocean. So me and Justin, we don't know anyone else in Darwin that's been diving as much as we have been doing and we're working on the book. So far, I think we're up to 140 species that we already put into it. We're of course not going to put every single critter out there, but we're focusing on all the cool nudibranchs and slugs around the Darwin coast. So hopefully we can finish the book very soon. But in the meanwhile, we have to identify nudibranchs like this, and this, and this one, and that one. What is that? <laughs> what is this one? <laughs> we have to do a lot of research. So that's all in the works. And hopefully things will get back to normal so we can uh, reach out to other locations in the Philippines. But in the meanwhile, we'll dive around Darwin. Until next time guys, peace out. <laughs>